Hi everyone, Keith Osbath here from Teaching Band and More, and I'd like to show you a great tool called Flat for adding music notation in Google Slides or Docs. I really like it because it's quick and easy to implement for both teachers and students. Now under the add-on menu in Google Slides or Docs, if you haven't already installed this, you'll need to go to Get Add-ons and visit the Add-on Store and simply search for Flat, and you can do a quick download. Once it's installed, it should appear here. Simply click on flat for slides and insert musical snippet. Now there's four options available. Today we're gonna to be working with single staff. I also really like the unpitched option because if you're gonna be doing any type of rhythmic notation with your students, this is a really nice feature. All right, so just an overview of your options. Okay, the select menu here, you've got your copy, cut, and paste, as well as a uh, transposition tool. Um, this symbol here simply works the same as your backspace key on your keyboard. You also have options for one and two voices. Under the note menu, you have accidentals, plus all of your options for note values, including some dotted rhythms, ties, even triplets. Articulations, including fermatas, slurs, you even have an option for including fingerings for piano. Some basic ornaments are available. Lots of different dynamic options. If you need to add or delete measures, this is where you would do that, including changing clefs and key signatures and time signatures, as well as changing the metronome marking too. You can even include some lyrics, some rehearsal markings, guitar tablature, and also chord symbols. So let's go ahead and jump in here and we're gonna create a five bar melody. So we're gonna to go to our plus sign and just click away until we have five. And I think we're gonna make this in the key of B flat. It's really easy. You're simply selecting, automatically inputs those changes. Very easy. Now, anything that's highlighted in blue, that's where your note values, or rhythmic values, articulations, dynamics, anything is gonna be entered wherever it's highlighted. So let's jump in here. I'm gonna enter notes in by my keyboard. So I simply click on that key and they get entered away. All right, I think we'll change that to a half note. So I'm simply gonna go back here and select half note and then automatically change back that half rest now to a quarter rest. And let's go ahead and do an arpeggio. And I think we'll end on a whole note. Okay, so it'll automatically add measures as you add notes, but again, we don't need that. So we're gonna go to our measure tool here and simply minus to delete. Let's go in and add some articulations. Okay, so we'll start at the beginning here. And I add a tenuto sign and a staccato and a tenuto and a staccato. Now it's really not gonna, you're not gonna really hear those articulations being played back. And we'll add a fermata on this last one. Now for dynamics, again, wherever you highlight in blue is where that dynamic marking will be added. Same with the crescendos and the diminuendos here. All you have to do though is click and drag the duration that you like. Okay. Now when you're completely done with everything, you can go ahead and hit insert. There's also an option to play everything back if you'd like to hear how it sounds. This playback feature is only available in the creation part of the music notation. Once it's inserted into your Google Slides or Doc, it will not play it back to you. Okay. Um, again, you can go back and change things if you like to add or delete anything or make note changes. You can also do that. It also works well using your cursor, the arrow keys to change notes. All right, I think we're done here. We're gonna go ahead and hit insert. 
And now this will input, or I'm sorry, so insert it as an image file. So you can make this smaller or larger. You can manipulate it, click, click and drag around as well. And it's really that easy. As with every new tool, the best way to really learn it is to just jump right in and start using it. Have fun.